Hello again, Misfits. It's time for another One Minute Review, and today we're taking a look at Wild Tiled West by Dire Wolf Games. Now, guys, I'm a sucker for tile games. I will tell you this much. I love tile games, okay? From Feast for Odin to... Feast for Odin <laughs> to Feast for Odin. Oh, wait, Dark Express is right over there. Foundation <laughs> Rome is right behind you. Planet Unknown, yes. All of those are good too, but Feast for Odin. But no, I am a sucker for tile games. I love tile laying games and I'll play them all and I absolutely love them all. Um, now, this is a tile laying game, obviously, in the title itself with a Wild West theme. Now, at first, when I we got this game, we got it from Gen Con. I was like, okay, it's going to have a cute Westy theme kind of pasted on and be kind of, maybe, maybe we'll see how deep it gets. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised on how it played and how much there was to this game. Um, so let me go over the game a little bit here and then we'll get into the finer points here. So Wild Tiled West is obviously a tile laying game. You have your own board here, as you can see, where you put your own tiles. Everybody gets a board and there are multiple maps so you can randomize things and they have some stuff pre-printed on there. They have caves and stuff that you can't put tiles on. They have areas with cows and pastures already and different bonuses and stuff like that. That's very important. So every round, the first player will roll the dice in. Now the dice go to this board and unlike some other tile-based ba tile games um, where, you know, you have things that are basically making you choose certain tiles, you can, well, I mean, you are basically forced to choose certain tiles, but they are laid out by the dice rolls. And so it kind of adds an aspect of not only first come, first serve, but it also limits what you can choose each round. So you're kind of forced into kind of making plays that you maybe don't want. I like that aspect a lot. It, it makes it so that um, that you are kind of having to shift your strategies maybe on the fly kind of make because because you don't have you may you might really want that sawmill but somebody might not roll it in for half the game so you kind of have to play it fast and loose on top of that even if it gets rolled in somebody might take it from you because as soon as somebody chooses a dice to pick from they get the tile and generally obviously you're not going to get a shot at it again until the dice is rolled in and there are honestly a lot of tiles sometimes sometimes you'll you know there's only a couple in here and they'll be gone really fast um, you also have the river here, which you roll in, which you can choose the tile. You always get the tile next to the dice. For the river, though, you can pay extra in gold and get tiles farther down the river, which is also a really cool mechanic because it gives an importance to getting gold in the game. So every round you roll in, you pick your tiles, you start plopping them down, okay? You're like, all right, this is good. You get bonuses. You also uh, have an upkeep. You have a little area with a mining cart where every at a certain point on the track, you'll hit a point where you'll get... Uh, money that just randomly comes into you and you want to upgrade this because you'll get more money in which lets you buy more stuff down the river and some tiles naturally just cost stuff that's an important aspect as well so you're like okay what do i do when i put the tiles down what am i looking for well you have different kinds of tiles you put down and obviously they each have a different aspect from instant bonuses to later on bonuses so you have your pastures with cows in it you can choose to kind of build this up and as you go along you'll add more cows well the higher the amount of cows you have in a field the more of a bonus you're going to get. And you have on your board here, cow bonuses, where basically, you know, you have three cows, four cows, five cows, you get a larger bonus as well as, if you go there first, you'll get a larger one-time bonus as well. And that'll get weaker if you're the later player. So you not only get a bonus in points, but you'll get a bonus in other things like gold and stuff like that. So to claim that, basically you'll have all your cows here. And when you want to cap it, finally you put this boot on it, it claims the cows. You also have bandits in your town. You want to get rid of bandits, right? Because bandits are bad, you don't want them. Because at the end of every uh, major round, you'll have these little lines here you get to when you take your turns. You'll get negative points if you have the most bandits in your town. If you don't, though, if you have the least, you'll get positive points. So it's kind of a catch-up mechanic because some of the better tiles have bandits on them. Well, you're like, well, I don't want them then. Can, or can, you, can I do anything about it? Well, yeah, you got sheriffs. You got little sheriffs here. And sheriffs are able to shoot in straight lines. They can't shoot through mountains or other buildings or things like that. But they're able to shoot through lines and take out these bandits with these bullet tokens that also, conveniently enough, becomes their tombstones. And to get bullets, you're going to get them usually from the board. Or sometimes you'll have tiles that'll have it as a bonus on there automatically. So you're going to take out bandits. You're going to build up pastures with cows in them. You're going to also get bonuses from all these different random tiles on here where they'll have like a one-shot bonus or uh, sometimes I'll have a bonus that'll only trigger once you completely surround that tile with other tiles. So you have a lot going on. There's also like end of game bonuses and stuff. Like for this one, there's a hotel. And basically it's for, you get a, you get a plus two at the end of the game for each tombstone, stuff like that. So 
you have uh, one shot bonuses uh, like I like this one here I, I use this one a lot basically you get um, one extra point for each tombstone at the end of the game um, so you get different bonuses you get different one shot things you also have a, a wild suit of cards that you get and for each one that you get and like I think it's three of different colors or three of the same color you get bonuses at the end of the round of that including getting even actually a card card if need be uh, from other bonuses so there is a ton of scoring possibilities going on in this game at first glance you're like eh, this may be easy no there's a lot going on you're getting bonuses to up your income to also fill out your town you also get bonuses there's shaded areas on the map if you fill out that whole shaded area you also get a bonus for filling up that town so there's a lot going on in this game. I'm even get into some of the other little mechanics. You even have a, a friend mechanic where basically it's it's kind of like goals where you get a couple of the beginning. Do you get ones at the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken? You get one. You get one and then you can get some. But, you, but as you build up your rows here or do other things, you get more. So you have multiple goals, which give you multiple ways to score at the end of the game. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in this game, and I absolutely love the depth of this game because it could have just been kind of an easy, we just slap some tile. No. There's a lot going on. You have your randomness, you have your choices, you have your ever-shifting strategies, and it's just it's just fun. Um, the production quality of the game, we'll start with that, of course, is great. I love these boards that, uh, I mean, they could have been lazy about it. They could have maybe had these flat and you would have had a struggle maybe with tiles moving around, but they went the distance. They had these deep recessed boards that hold all your tiles in, also hold your dice in, so you know, if somebody does this, these aren't going flying everywhere. Um, the boards themselves are nice, you know, they, they, they are fairly decent quality, you know, you have your own little meeples here and everything. They did a solid job in production, it's not like a, a super cheap looking game or anything like that, it just looks good on the table, if you know what I mean. Art style, everything else is, is very, very good. Very cutesy, but on point, point. Um, and they did a great job. Gameplay itself, like I said, is a lot of fun, there's a lot of depth to it, and you'll have a back and forth kind of flow to the game, and I mean, Kind of everybody is doing a solitaire, obviously you're laying your own tiles, but you're also, you do have interaction where you're kind of rolling in the dice and trying to, you know, beat everybody out and get the tiles that you want. I mean, you could do a little bit of uh, gotcha where you're like, you're taking a tile so that somebody else doesn't get it. That is a possibility. A lot of times though, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Tom, you're just too focused on your own game, right? Oh yeah. Because, I mean, I think last time we played, somebody ran away with the game and we didn't even realize it because there's so many ways to score points in this game. You have no idea what, you know, everybody, I mean, you can see what they're doing, but you're not going to be like, oh, that guy's going to score big on cows. I'm going to take this and completely ruin him. No, you're like, I don't need cows. You're, you're, you're going to do your own thing. Um, so it is a little solitary, which is pretty normal in tile laying games, to be honest. I think Planet Unknown is only, the only one I think that forces you to kind of kind of do similar by choosing stuff. Anyways, um, this game is great, guys. Um, honestly... <laughs> As a tile lane game, it, it, I, I absolutely love it. It's hard to really find a lot of wrong with this game. Um, I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5. I, I, I'm close to the cusp of being 5 out of 5 on this game, but I'm going to stick with my guns on 4. Um, what about 4.5? We'll and go 4.5. Well, I don't want to do a half. You know, we don't got to make a cut and a cut salty. Is that salty. it? All right, we'll go 4.5. Um only because um, as much as as much as there is going on in this game, I could definitely see a lot more. Like they could definitely add more to this. Um, playing Planet Unknown and, and like I said, and, and um, uh, uh, Feast for Odin and things like that. I know the madness that you can go to, the levels of madness you can go to for tile laying games and production and stuff like this. And while this is nice produced and 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 it is a fun, solid depth game, I think it, they could even do better. That's 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 fair, right? That, like I, I'm gonna. There's some room for expansion. There's there's room. It's not even expansions. I think like almost I almost think the game like you could they can add even more to this game. They can even add a little more production or maybe just more tiles. I don't know what it is, but it, it feels like okay. It's not. It, it has it has room to grow, and this is a great first game, and I'm eagerly looking forward to more because this game is is a ball. I'm um, highly recommend it if you love tile laying tile laying games. This is absolutely a no brainer. I would certainly add this to my collection any day of the week, guys. And uh, it's just an awesome game. Yeah, four, four and a half. We'll go four and a half salties on this one. Okay, guys. Solid, solid tile laying game. Um, check it out. Direwolf uh, Publishing. Um, just a solid game. It very much surprised me. I absolutely loved it. It's made by the same guys who make Clank. Like him, yeah, made by the same guys who make Clank, which, you know, obviously there's going to be more of this. You can almost bet money on that, especially if it sells well. Um, until then, guys, of course, as always, don't forget to lay your tiles down, shoot your bandits, and as always...